What is up guys, it's Awesome Marsh here and I'm doing a Hell Cell review. Um So Hell Cell has happened here. I'll be reviewing over watching the highlights. The first part of the highlights will be the kickoff. I didn't see the kickoff. So I'm just gonna I this is all new to me, so I'm just gonna see what's new. <laughs> I didn't see a lot of this crap. <laughs> Uh, obviously, we didn't see me sitting there talking um, and hugging. They're Seamus. Uh, Mark Henry and Bold Alice, Bold Alice talking, saying Bold leave, obviously. Mark Henry molding over Bold Alice and pinning Bold Alice wins. Okay. Now it's Dolph Ziggler versus Antonio Cesaro. Great match, one of the matches of the night. Um, a really good match. Dahl Ziggler obviously won. I actually thought for a second Antonio Cesaro might win this. He was three out um, two out of three falls. Um, Dahl Ziggler won by a clean sweep. Um, that means basically that Dahl Ziggler got the two falls and Antonio Cesaro didn't. And he basically won. See there, it was Nikki versus Brie Bella. Um, two sisters fighting, colliding, um, for for one to be the other's uh, assistant for 30 days. And this was an okay match. I didn't really care about this match, but then, like, I was watching it. It was okay. Um, watching through it, I actually wasn't... I thought, like, there was going to be interference, but there wasn't. And Nikki won without interference. That was weird to me. Uh, start out, uh, Lola started with the Usos. There was nothing new because these guys have been feuding for like two months, so there was nothing like not expecting. So it wasn't much of a match, like, they were just flying all over the place, and that's pretty much it. It was an okay ending. Um, just, uh, Stardust kicked Uso in the ass, and then they capitalized on it. Um, Orin Racina, this was that actually that actually surprised me because these usually would actually put on like okay matches, but then Orin was dominating most of it. Cena had a couple like come back here and there. Uh, uh, like that first RKO, um, surprised me actually. I I thought that was great. They didn't use the Hell and Cell much though. Um, that's the thing. It, it would have been a bit better if they weren't in the Cell. And it was pretty physical match, so they were using everything but the cell pretty much. Um, but in the end, Cena came over um, him from an uh, AA from the top row to a table. After two AAs before it, and then the Orton hit uh, Orkeos. Well, this is Seamus vs. Biz. Quick match, pretty much. Um, Damon Sandow was basically doing everything the Miz was doing. It was pretty funny. Um, so, this quick match, it was a lot longer than this for some reason. I don't have I don't have much to say about the match. And anyway, after the match, basically, um, Sheamus like moved Miz all around the place, and um, Damien Sandow would do everything like he did with the um, Miz and stuff, like exactly what happened there. Yeah, um, Moose Empress Big Show. I thought Big Show actually had a chance here, and I definitely thought I thought this was definitely gonna happen. And um, Mark Henry would interfere, and I thought definitely when Mark Henry actually came out. But he didn't, and Big Show actually submitted to Rusev. I was not expecting that. Like, it was actually a decent match, but, like, it was unexpected. I thought Mark Henry was going to turn heel and interfere. But, um, he didn't. Um, I see, he, you can see him there. Uh, Big Show was taken out, and, um, damn. <laughs> this was an absolutely ter- <laughs> I didn't really care about this match. It went long though, and I just wanted it to end. I didn't care. I didn't like even know much about this match. I nearly fell asleep inside this match. It just like I didn't even know why this match was happening. They've seen it so many times before. Well, AJ obviously won, and then um, Paige was slap Alicia Fox in the face. Then it was Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. Thought it would be an amazing match. This is what happened. Basically, Dean Ambrose went to the top of the cage. Two of the uh, security guys came up. Then uh, Seth Rollins came up. Then they started fighting at the side of it. Then both coming off at the same time. Um, 
Wait, just saying, well, before this continues, but well, anyway, they were fighting on top of the cage, but, um, but when, say, Rollins tried to escape, um, they both went off at the same time. What I actually took from this at the start, I was like, I was like saying, hey, that's exactly like Undertaker did with the Mankind match. He went up there and it was like, it was pretty much like it. And then in the Shawn Michaels match, that was the second thing. And then the physical thing also happened in the Undertaker thing. And like, um, I I think I would think a bunch of other people. If you're watching it, actually, you might have you might have seen that as well. But anyway, it was a physical match after that. Um, Kane interfered at one point. And everybody's pretty much interfering. But Dean Ambrose had the win. He was like hitting with everything. Um, near fall, and then yeah, see physical two tables and stuff. Um, see, that's Kane interfering, putting him through a table. There we go. And that's him fighting. The cinder blocks are there. And then, out of nowhere, comes Bray Wyatt. Yep, I know. Um, this basically what happened was, um, Dean Ambrose is there in the corner about to, like, curb stomp, curb stomp, um, set Rollins through the cinder blocks, like, set Rollins said to him. But then... Like, the whole lights went out. I thought there was something wrong with my TV for a second. I was like, no, what are you doing? And then eventually I heard a noise, and as soon as I heard the noise, I knew it was Bray Wyatt. Then it was like some ancient slang or something. I can't remember what he said. He was like, whatever. Um, and then eventually he came out, and there was like that there. See that? And smoking up. There was like a hologram. And then uh, Dean was looking at it. I'm shouting at him to like tip it over <clears throat> then it goes black again when it comes back Bray Wyatt's up hits Dean Ambrose just beating the crap out of him and Seth Rollins takes advantage and wins the match and people are asking why did Bray Wyatt do this and um that's pretty much it it's the end of it see that's him underground after and that's Seth Rollins capitalizing and now it's the end of the show um so that was my uh, Hell in a Cell review. Hell in a Cell has gone crap. Like, Bray Wyatt was also kind of like Kane. Do you see that? They just... They took things from old matches. Instead of the new ones. And, um... They, they're not coming up with anything original. I thought this would only be a match that I would remember. It's a match... Well, it was kind of 30. So I presume, since it was Hell in a Cell 30, they wanted to show... Of what happened in a lot of the other hand cell matches in different ways, in like original ways, but that was actually a smart idea if they do that. But you know what, don't do we are like dumbasses. I don't think they went like that anymore. So um, uh, terrible. Well, it was okay. Um, match of the night. I would still say it was Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose though. Um. Um. So that was the match of the night. Um. If you like, comment, subscribe, guys, and join the awesome army. I will see you in the next one. Um, and also, guys, just one last thing before we go. Um, I've noticed that a couple of you guys have been going into my video, viewing it, and like going out without bothering, commenting, or liking, or whatever. Um, I really appreciate it if you leave the like or comment it. I reply to your comment, and like, if you leave a like. Anytime I get a like, I jump up like yes, or the same for subscribers. I'm really happy anytime anybody likes. So please like and comment. And um, see you next time, guys. This has been Irish Bye bye.